Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Shive, and this morning we're visiting with Andrea Stith. She's the horticulture agent in Barron County. Good morning, Andrea. Thank you for having me today. Well, it is fall. And with fall comes some cleanup that many of us might not be thinking about. And you are here to talk about that with us today. Uh, so one of the common mistakes that gardeners make is that when the weather turns south and we start to get that cool weather, they just walk away from the garden and they're just done. Um, so what I like to talk about is the fall cleanup and how it is essential for your spring success. Um, so some important things to do is to actually go in and remove, especially if you've had any disease material, um, if you've had tomatoes that have gotten blight or things like that on there, you want to make sure you get that material out so you can reduce that disease pressure for the next year. Um, so that's really important and it's also important not to put that disease tissue into like a compost bin because then you're just putting that disease back into what you'd be putting back on your, as your fertilizer the next year. Um, so you want to make sure if you've got diseased plants that you're getting them out of there, you're taking them out of the garden, put them in a trash bag, and put them in your, you know, your roadside garbage to let it get off your property. Right. Um, also, try to make sure you do tie those bags up because you don't want your neighbor when the tr trash truck's driving down the road and it falls out and then it ends up in their yard. Yeah. Uh, so you want to try to make sure you tie that, that material up good. Um, the other thing that is important is if you have trees or things um, that have maybe a canker or a sore, um, usually the winter time is a good time after, you know, they've kind of gone dormant. You can try to prune some of those things out. The important thing with that is you want to make sure that you're cleaning your tools between cuts. Okay. Um, so it's basically if it has a disease material you want to cut and then you want to sanitize because if you cut again with the disease on your clippers, you're going to be spreading that disease okay. to the next plant. Um, so that's something to consider. You want to rake and remove any of your, your fallen leaves and things like that out of your garden area. Um, you can use them as compost if you want to like mow over them and cut them up and put them out. That's fine, but you want to make sure that they're not diseased. Now, Andrea, do you all have some materials on this topic if someone wanted to stop by their local extension office and find out what, what maintenance they might need? Um, yeah, most of the agents can give you some short tips and tricks on what to do, okay. um, definitely. But one of the most important things is to make sure that you're just sanitizing and cleaning up that area. And it's a great time, um, the winter time is a great time to clean your tools, um, evaluate your tools, make sure that there's not any that have big chunks out of them or broken handles or things like that. Um, you can also take the time to actually give your lawnmower a little attention. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think many of us are, are guilty of that. Um, sometimes if you leave gas in it or you leave too much oil or something sitting in the tank, you can actually make it to where it's a little harder to start the next year. Yeah. So you just want to make sure you're kind of basically shutting it down for the season. Um, it's a great opportunity at the time of year to, to sharpen the blades and things as well. Um, so those are all things that you can take care of. Andrea, I think that many many people are guilty of this because they've been working so hard in the summertime working hard in that garden and now that it's time to have a little break from that some might feel kind of lazy and we might not want to do those chores mm -hmm. but like you said spring success is really dependent upon the work that you're wrapping up now yeah, your, and the maintenance. Your, yes your winter wrap up is really important um, you want to make sure that you're you're setting yourself up for the most successful season you can have next year if you don't do some of these things you could start out you know Maybe you have disease already when you first start your right. garden, and that's not a great way to start because then you're going to come to me with diseased plants and be like, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's one of the greatest things is just making sure that you're, you're sanitizing things. Um, the other thing that people might not think about is that to, this is a great time to do your soil test to find out oh, where yeah. your nutrients are sitting. Um, the one thing that I haven't mentioned that I think is important that people also don't think about is if you've trellised something um, with a, a trellis that can be recycled, you need to clean those trellises as well. And we usually recommend to use um, a disinfectant. I usually use like a 10% bleach mix. Um, just that way I can go ahead and get those cleaned up and sanitized okay. for the next year. And if you do it now and, and you put those things away, they're stored clean. Um, you don't have to worry about it when you're getting ready and you're like, oh, where's my trellises next year? My tomatoes need them now. <laughs> right. Yes. It's, yeah. If you just take the time to put in the work, put a little um, motivation now, then by the springtime, you'll be ready. You'll be motivated. You've had a few months of, of rest. But even though it is a time of taking a break from that, it's so important to remember that there are many maintenance that we need to remember. Yep. Just small tasks you can take care of now. Yeah. Well, Andrea, 
thank you for being here today. If you have more questions, contact your local extension office. Um, Andrea is at the Barron County Extension Office. Thank you so much for joining us and have a great day. If you have questions about today's topic, please call the Warren County Extension Office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.